for my personal project, I built an electric go-kart. It took me, I think, three or four months to build this. I'm quite proud of myself, yeah. For my personal project, I made a mouse so I can control it by waving my hand. So I had this innovative idea and I used it in my own project. My personal project was creating a sustainable gown. I had to be self-determined, really bring in my innovative side. For my personal project, I was surviving in the wild. I had to be really dedicated. For my personal project, I've decided to create a video where I would explain how to use a telescope and afterwards I would show the pictures I've taken using it. And you got a lot of time to plan and do research. No matter where you are, there's a place you can go. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Aditya. I'm Giovanna. I'm Kelsey. I'm Moritz. Let me tell you about my personal project. I built an electric go-kart. When my car started for the first time, I wasn't really sure how to feel because I turned on the ignition I give it a, a little bit of gas, a pinch, and I hear a pop, and that and that and it stops working. So I have to change the fuse out to a more powerful one. Originally, I had something called a, a 15 amp fuse here, and I switched it to a 30 amp. You can see 30. But when it first started working, to hear the electric motor start to turn the chain and the wheel start to move and the car starts to move forward, and it's, it's just an amazing feeling. It took me, I think, three or four months to build this. It started with a freehand sketch on my math notebook of a driving system that I thought would be interesting to put in something. I just didn't know what yet. And then I had the idea, why not build a go-kart? I love driving them, I love cars, I love building stuff. And then I had another idea, why not make it electric? It is electric powered, yeah. It's powered by four uh, motorcycle batteries. So that powers the 1800 watt motor in the back. I chose an electric drivetrain because I thought that it would be more environmentally friendly than using a petrol power. I'm quite proud of myself, yeah. Let me tell you about my personal project. I can use my hand to move the mouse with one finger. And I can also click. Right there. I can also switch and everything. Tesla uses the same software of hand tracking. The camera right there, it finds how far your camera is from your hand, and based on that, it moves the cursor. I went through and learned about computer vision, coding, and some other coding languages like Python, Ruby. I use pre-calculus, calculus, some matrix, and uh, vector division. First of all, in grade nine, I had a meeting with my supervisor about what I'd be making. I spent my whole summer, about five hours a day, working on this project, just trying to make it work, because sometimes my camera didn't work, sometimes the hand was too close to the camera, it was too far, sometimes it just didn't seem to work because the process failed. The day was finally worked, it was, I think it was 21st July, it finally worked, it started moving and it was, it was really exciting. I had about three motions, the first of all was you use an index finger and you put it right in front of the camera and you just kind of move your hand and the mask kind of copies itself. The second one was you, you do like a scissor sign and if you want to click you just kind of cross the fingers together and the third sign is you kind of do like a peace sign where you keep your two fingers like this and it just stops. For my personal project I was surviving in the wild and I decided I was going to survive in the wild environment of Brazil, uh, my home country. It's a desert kind of environment. Throughout a couple of weeks, I researched um, edible plants I could find there, uh, techniques of building shelter, I learned how to fish, how to uh, light a bonfire, how to make a water filter. And my product was a 24 hours experience where I had to put into practice all of these uh, new skills that I learned. To stay safe from animals and predators, I had waterproof boots that could also protect me from snake bites and bugs. I had to be really dedicated, especially when learning new skills. I managed to meet all of my success criteria. So for my personal project, I've decided to create a video where I would explain how to use a telescope. You want to move the reflect telescope around so you can look through here. Then using this, you want to try to find the pulsar. It took me a lot of uh, time and planning. I've been able to take a picture of the moon, Mercury, Uranus, Mars, the ISS and the Andromeda galaxy. It took me a lot of self-determination to actually do this project. Uh, the hardest part was to actually know how to take pictures using my telescope. My personal project was creating a sustainable gown. The gown was meant for a gala or for a ball. My gown was made out of all sustainable products. Um, the material was uh, made out of plastic bottles 
and the flowers that I used for it were reused from hair clips. I found um, that in the fashion industry there's a lot of material used and only a third of it is actually used in the actual dress and um, I thought that that was a very big problem. Uh, so I started the project in grade 9 uh, where we started with planning and during the summer I spent the entire time actually sewing the gown. When I got off summer break I also kept going with that um, process of making the ball gown. It's important to use sustainable fabrics when uh, doing fashion because uh, climate change is really impacting our environment and our world and we need to do something about it. I was very really self-determined and I had this innovative idea and I used it in my project to make this work. I needed quite a lot of self-determination. AIS I think is, is great. I ha had to be self-determined. I had to really bring in my innovative side and uh, come up with how to meet deadlines. The school really helped me uh, to meet these deadlines and make sure I get everything done, which was really great. And it starts right here.